Hi, I'm Cindy Woodsmall, one of the authors of Plain Wisdom, An Invitation to an Amish Home and the Hearts of Two Women, and I am honored to get to be here today at Guideposts. I wanted to share a little bit with you this morning about how Miriam and I got connected. Uh, that's a first question that's often asked. I live in Georgia, 700 miles from Miriam's Pennsylvania home, and we had a mutual friend, Linda, and she said, you know, I have an old order Amish friend. Since you are drawn to the plain people and you had a best friend growing up who was plain, and you're looking to reconnect, let me introduce you. And she did so over the phone, and then Miriam and I began talking to each other some and writing letters. And about a year later, Miriam invited me and my youngest son, whom I was homeschooling at the time, to her house. And that was about nine years ago, and we've been going to her home and talking on the phone and writing letters ever since. Miriam and I continued to grow and learn about each other and spiritually and based on religion, how we were different. We just started talking about raising children mostly because she has six children and I have three. And we soon discovered that the most important thing in our lives were those children because they were not in existence and we brought them into existence. And in our hearts and minds, they have a, an earth to live through and then an eternity. So trying to do what's best for them, trying to give them room to be themselves, to dig deep and find out who God wants them to be, and yet them stay inside the boundaries of faith and walking in a moral stance and walking with Christ was very important to us. So that's really the common ground that we found. And everything else somewhat centers around that, even though it may um, veer off and be very different, we still are dealing with our children, trying to get them to not do certain things and trying to get them to trust themselves and believe themselves and, and hear God and, and branch out. Um, so just the battle between protecting them and giving them freedom was probably our greatest common denominator. Early in the mornings, Miriam and I would go out to her hiddy, which is her hidden place. It's surrounded on two sides with lilac bushes, one side with a cow pasture, and the other side sort of has a barn to it. So it's her area to go and, and recreate some energy from having all of those children and living the old order lifestyle. And we would have coffee and just begin to share about our children and what was going on in their lives. And as we talked, we began to realize that both of us lacked confidence in areas. We both hesitated to branch out and do what we thought maybe God might ask us to do. We sort of had a hesitation. Well, what if he wanted? And then we started talking about some embarrassing and difficult and hard times in life. And one of us said, and I'm not sure which one, it may have been me since I am the writer, but you know, what do you think about us putting it in a book and just sharing with other women who struggle with their own value? And women give a lot to society, but we often hate ourselves at the end of the day. Or we will feel like babies are so important, but they're not giving us anything back, but we will feel like they're more important than we are on all levels. Or that teenager we're standing toe to toe with. You know, we're arguing with them, but we still see their value, but often we don't see our own. So we wanted to write a book that shared the honesty of being a woman, that shared the honesty hopefully outside of some of the magazines that come into your home, even the, the ones that um, may try to encourage you, but the women are so perfect, you're like, I can't read that. I've had that happen numerous times. So we really wanted to get down to being vulnerable, yet not willing to embarrass anyone except ourselves <laughs> in the writing of it. So we're hoping that it really encourages women to see themselves from a different perspective.